back on that 80 team, you were teammates with Tug McGraw. Mm-hmm. And his son, obviously, massive country star in here at 92.5 XDU. Tim McGraw was the headliner of our anniversary show. His brother, Tim McGraw's brother, still a firefighter in the Philadelphia area. So he has so many ties. Talk a little bit about your relationship with Tug and, and kind of that tie into country music. Well, you know, Mark is a firefighter, and I've known Mark since uh, I can't even remember. And I met Tim, of course, later. Tug wanted to be the singer. Mark wanted to be, I mean, uh, Tim wanted to be the baseball player. So it's kind of weird, you know. <laughs> it's funny how Tug always wanted out. to be Elvis. My relationship with Tug was tight. Uh, Tug taught me a lot. Back in 1980, we had two guys on our club that really took care of the bullpen. And that was Tug McGraw and, and Ron Reed. And they would they would let us know how to do things down there, how to get up. I mean, I was a starting pitcher. I went into bullpen. I didn't know how to warm up. And they were right there to kind of school me through that. But the biggest thing that Tug taught me was how fun that game is out there, how appreciative you should be. Come here and put on a Phillies uniform every day and how humble you should be. And he would always – they called me Pie. He goes, Pie, look at this. We're on a Major League Baseball stadium. And that was from Tug, like 162 straight games. Mm-hmm. He was one of the funnest people I've ever been around in my life. Most – and he was real. There was nothing fake about Tug. When you seen him on the field, everything you seen was that was really Tug McGraw. One of my greatest stories about Tug was after he had the cancer. We were down here, right. supposed to play golf that day. We went to Moffitt, and of course we went to uh, the, the hospital here first, and and then we ended up over in the Moffitt concert, co- Cancer Hospital over here in Tampa. But we would sit around after he had his surgery, and he would start talking baseball right off the bat. He wanted to know what happened yesterday. Here's a guy with cancer could be you know it was fatal in the in the end and he's got brain cancer and and he's worrying about what's going on you know what's going (laughs) what was that minor league pitcher we talked about he hit me on the shoulder (laughs) the kid did i like the way he was throwing and i said oh yeah he threw yesterday did really good tug was i call him mr baseball 